Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Evidence and in today's video, I am going to show you how to read a JSON data frame. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to get the data. So this little function right here is going to extract files from folder. So right here I have a folder called songdata.zip. I'll go ahead and unzip it on my local computer and then I'll continue with this instruction. All right, so I went ahead and unzipped this folder and the, as you can see here, we have um, JSON files inside this. So let me expand this a little bit. And if I click on this, uh, you can see the data in it. So this is what the data inside this folder looks like. So if you're in a situation like this where you have a lot of JSON files, in a subfolder. This code right here is going to help you um, extract, like get the files inside this folder. That's basically what it's doing. I'll go ahead and run this code. So now I am going to make sure that this um, data extraction code works and I'm gonna do it like this. So we are gonna do songs equal to get files, song data. So get files is the name of this function and we are gonna get song data. Song data is the name of this folder right here because this function is expecting a file path and the file path here is the song data. And um, so let's go down and run this. So that works. Now, we, I am going to verify that this works. It's actually getting the files inside. So I'm just gonna do songs at position zero. Something went wrong, let me check it out. Okay, so I figured out what the problem is. So I did a song data right here, but this song data is outside um, JSON lessons folder so we have the song data folder then we have the json lesson folder so i need to go up one folder level i believe and that should work and there we go so i'll go ahead and collapse output and here let's run this and now this works. So now as you can see right here, songs at position zero is the first file in this folder. And TRAA, well, it's not necessarily the first file, but it's one of the files in this subfolder. So the lesson here is that you need to be careful for your folder, for your file path right here. So in my preparation lesson, I have song data inside JSON lesson. So this, so just having it as song data right here works. But since this song data right here is now outside this JSON lesson folder, and inside this JSON lesson folder is where I have the current file I'm working on. I have to put this to go up one folder and then get to song data. So if this step right here is not working, double check your folder level. So here basically the same file path is equal to songs at position zero. And now for the magic, basically we can still use regular pandas to read JSON. So in this case, I'm just gonna do df is equal to pd dot read JSON. And here I'm gonna say file path, and I'm gonna do lines equal to true. This lines equal to true is critical for this to work. So if we go down and run this, and here if we do df.head, and as you can see right here, this is um, the file in question. So that JSON file, uh, let me pull up one right here. So this JSON file has been read into this data frame. Now let me show you what happens if we don't put lines equal to true. So if we go here and do this and delete this and run this code, 
it gives us a ginormous error. So if we go ahead, go ahead and do um, DF test is equal to this and run it. As you can see, it gives us a big error. So lines equal to true is very critical for this JSON data frame to work. So this is how you read a single JSON file using pandas, but in this situation, right, we have multiple JSON file and each JSON file is a, is a its own row. How do we read all these data at once? Well, um, we just need to do a little bit more work. So the first thing we are gonna do is to get a list of all the songs. So we, here we have a song list, Song list is equal to an empty list. And then we are gonna say for each song in song list, we want to open it. And then we want to load it using JSON. And then we want to append it to this list. So if we go ahead and run this, and then type in, let's say song list for the first two. This is the first JSON file. And this is the second JSON file, right? So in this situation, we have multiple ones and we need to be able to load each one into a, its own row so that it becomes one data frame. So now that we have a list of all the JSON files, right? We can easily turn this into a data frame. So and it's easy to turn this into a data frame because we have a list and then each JSON file is recognized as a dictionary in Python. So since each row is a dictionary, it's easier to convert that into a data frame. So I am going to repeat what I did earlier and do um, pd.dataframe and song list. So right originally, when I did, when I worked on this earlier, here I said pd.readjson and I provided a single file path. But in this situation, since we have a dictionary within a list, we are going to use the pd.dataframe. And we are gonna provide song list that I just created and we are gonna run this. As you can see right here, each, JSON file here has been converted into a row in this data frame. So pd.read data frame here, pandas read data frame is not the only option you have when it comes to reading a dictionary inside a list. So basically what's happening right here is that I am taking this data frame that I created right here and I'm turning it back to JSON. And I, I am calling this um, df2 indent.json. So this is basically um, what it looks like. And as you can see right here, this is the exact same thing that I have in song data. This step is not necessary, but I just did this step to show you how to turn a um, data frame back to JSON. Um, but this is what I really wanted to show you. So here, basically, I'm doing df3 is equal to pd.readjson, and I'm doing df2 indent.json. Um, actually, yeah, df2 indent.json. And here, I'm going to do um, df3.head. As you can see, it's the same thing, get the exact same result, right? So you could use um, read JSON to also read um, dictionary inside the list. And here, basically I'm using df2 indent.json because I converted this data frame back into JSON. But instead of df2 indent.json, I could potentially um, 
have put in song list. But if I put in song list here, it's not going to work. Okay, so this song list is a variable, right? And this variable is holding a dictionary within a list. But df 2 indentjsin is actually a file. So then, um, why did I convert this data frame back into JSON just um, to put it back into data frame? That's because there's a difference between pd.read data frame and pd.pandas. pd.read JSON expects a file path, but pd.data frame expects a variable. And I'm going to show you what I mean here in a minute. So what's the difference between read JSON and pd.data frame? Like I said, pd.json um, requires a file path, while pd.data frame wants a pandas object. So basically, which one you use will depend on how you store your data. And I'm going to show you what I mean here in a minute. So with what we did earlier, um, df 3 json right? Well, let's call this df4 here um, for clarity. So we can do pd.readjson, and we can put in song list. As we know, um, song list is a pandas object. So if we do um, song list, and let's just do the first two like we did earlier. As you can see here, um, it's the same thing. So this right here, which is a dictionary within a list, is the exact same thing as this one, a dictionary within a list. It's just that song list here is a pandas object. So if we run this, it's going to throw an error. But if we run the same code using df2.indent.json, it will come back and it will be... Um, successful because rejection expects a file path and not a pandas object. And if we scroll down to this one, pd dot data frame, and here if we put in a song list, this will work as expected. But if we put in a file path like df to indent dot json is going to throw an error. So whether you are using pd.dataframe to take your JSON file into a data frame or whether you're using pd.readjson will depend on how you have your data stored. If you have your data stored in a file like this one, then you use pd.readjson. Um, pd if you have it stored as a pandas object, like song list, you will use pd dot data frame. And um, if you have a single JSON file that you're looking that you want to read, you can use um, pd dot read JSON. That's basically it for this video on how to read JSON file using pandas. I hope you like this video. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you want access to this code that I used in this tutorial, you can go online to machinelearningeducation.com slash free. And yes, I am going to put this link in the comment section below. Here you just sign in and you get access to this notebook and many other notebooks that I use in my tutorials. So I create a lot of data science tutorials, a lot of tech tutorials, and I just find it easier to put everything in one location. So to get access to this, you can go to machinelearningeducation.com slash free and get access um, to this notebook. You can also support me directly. So if you want to support me directly, you can come to machinelearningeducation.com and you can support my data science work here. And also, if you come to my website and it has changed, just know that this support link will be somewhere up here. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye.